All right, part two of my panel comparison. On the left here, the long ones are 136 watt thin film from Unisolar. Those are tied in parallel. These uh, blue ones here closest to me are 100 watt solar fennel panels, polycrystalline. Those are tied in series. The black ones here are 100 watt monocrystallines from Renogy. Those are also tied in series. So this has been running about a week. Unfortunately, mostly overcast and rainy, so not the exact experiment I wanted. Um, but let's just see what we got. So the thin films here on the left, as you can see the label on the meter, generating 178 watts instantaneously, um, 120 watts out of the polycrystal and solar fennels, and 115 out of the monocrystalline Renogies. Uh, that's interesting, but the real number I wanted was how they performed over the week. So let me change all these meters to kilowatt hours. So over roughly an eight-day period, 3.9 kilowatt hours from the uh, from the um, thin film unisolars, 2.58 from the polycrystalline solar fennels, and 1.9 out of the monocrystalline Renogies. Uh, the, there was a bird attack <laughs> on the Renogies, so there's a little bit of poo splattered on there. Um, so maybe that would have pulled those up a little bit closer to the polycrystalline. Uh, another thing the meters actually capture here is the highest power recorded. Let me get all those synced up. So 225 watts out of the thin films, 153 watts out of the polycrystalline, and then 160 watts peak out of the monocrystalline. Uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, since I don't need the truck right this minute, I may try letting these run another couple days. Uh, maybe see if uh, some of the numbers converge a little bit better since it's supposed to be sunny for the next couple days. It's been rainy and overcast pretty much uh, most of this week, uh, today being the exception. I uh, appreciate you guys checking back in, and uh, thanks a lot.